David Lifton from the uh, Wings for Wheels podcast. So give David a big hand. Hi everybody and welcome to Vegas Podcast of Palooza. How's everybody doing? How's Vegas treating all of you? Anybody, anybody getting stomped like I am yet? All right, uh, well, my name, like Hunter said, my name is Dave Lifton and I run a, a blog at uh, wingsforwheels.net. And uh, for three years I also had a, a bi-weekly podcast there. And now I host a, a monthly show over at uh, popdose.com. Other than that, I don't have any uh, real special qualifications for for uh, being the host tonight. Um, if you've ever listened to my show, you know I'm not an entertainer. Um, thank you. <laughs> but I, I do listen to all three shows, and uh, a few months ago, uh, it was late at night, and I saw uh, a tweet from Hunter uh, saying that the person that he originally wanted to uh, host the show had, uh, had canceled out, and I just said, well, I'm going anyway, so I just said, well, I'll do it. And uh, this, of course, was after a night of heavy drinking. And uh, I wound up, uh, you know, and then the next morning I got an email from uh, Michelle Dresden of 500 by Midnight saying how happy she was that I was uh, going to be uh, coming to the show. And then I guess, well, there's no way out of that. So we have a fantastic show for you tonight, as, uh, as you know, here at the Gossy Room. And let's hear it for the Palms for uh, providing the room. And we've got the three best Vegas podcasts here. We've got The Vegas Gang, and they're going to be talking to uh, Gordon Absher, who's the uh, Vice President of Public Affairs at MGM Mirage. Um, the Strip with uh, special guest Chaz Palminteri. I don't know if you heard, but Holly Madison had to uh, cancel due to uh, an injury that uh, she picked up. <laughs> That's the story, and until we hear otherwise, we're sticking to it. And uh, 500 by Midnight, um, they don't need anybody, because by the time that we get to them, they'll be pretty hammered. <laughs> and uh, we're going to finish off with a roundtable about podcasting, which includes members of uh, all three shows and uh, Scott Whitney from uh, the Living in Las Vegas podcast and a company called Podworks. And I'm not going to take uh, too much of your time with these introductions, but I want to I talk a little bit about why this is a, a special event. Um, how many of you have podcasts or blogs? <laughs> okay, so uh, you know that, that like one of the coolest things about uh, having one is that it's basically an, an infinite form of communication. You know, I post something from my little apartment in Chicago and somebody in North Carolina, you know, they find it due to a, a, a Google search and they leave a comment and then somebody in England finds uh, my site and links to it on their blog and they're calling me an idiot, but he's got a commenter from Seattle who's got my back. And, you know, so new media just brings the world together through their shared interests in a way that none of us could have imagined 15 or 20 years ago. You know, in the old days, you would meet somebody at a, you know, uh, if you had a similar interest, like Vegas or science fiction or comic books, whatever, you'd meet them at a convention and, you know, develop the friendship from, from there through, you know, correspondence and phone calls or whatever. And now it's the reverse. We find our people, our friends through blogs, through podcasts, through Twitter, and then we get together uh, at various times to meet them. There are um, you know, people here tonight that I'm, uh, that I'm meeting who I've considered my friends for years and other who I only know as you know, fellow commenters uh, that, that I've wanted to meet for almost as long. And that's why Vegas is such a perfect topic for podcasts because uh, this city uh, unites, the unites the world as well. Uh, for 15 years I lived in Washington DC which is a real international city. There are people from all over the world. I had friends from all six continents. And it doesn't matter if they were from Bolivia or Australia or Ghana or you know Colorado. If I said I'm going to Vegas next week, the answer is always the same. Where are you staying? Are you seeing any shows? Can you place twenty dollars on black for me? You know, and you could talk about Vegas from so many angles, and that's why these three podcasts complement each other so well. Uh, they take different approaches to covering the city. That even when they touch upon uh, the same topics, it never sounds like they're repeating themselves. They've each found their niche and their tone, and that's uh, one of the reasons why the first show tonight is, is special to me. Because as somebody who not only produces podcasts, but is also uh, an avid listener of them, one of the most important things to me is hearing the evolution of the show and hearing it find its voice. Um, unlike the other two, I've been listening to this one from the beginning, uh, back in the days when Hunter was singing his own theme song and uh, his own bumper music. And it consisted mostly of his, um, him talking about his man crush on Steve Wynn. <laughs> so, uh, but 
even though uh, Robert Keane doesn't think so, Hunter really knows his stuff. And, uh, but he did feel that he needed different perspectives and started bringing in other people. And uh, it's become one of the most interesting and informative discussions on the casino industry that you're going to find. So, uh, and, and also I wanted, should also say that uh, Hunter and Chuck did uh, a ton of work in uh, putting together uh, this show, in do, pulling together a lot of logistics, as, as did Steve Fries. But um, Chuck was uh, partially responsible for my contract writer. So I just wanted to thank him for the midget hooker that was in my uh, hotel room today. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's bring out the Vegas gang. Uh, unfortunately, Jeff Simpson could not make it. So let's get a Hunter Heligus, Admiral Chuck S. Monster, and Dr. Dave Schwartz, and their special guest, Gordon Absher of MGM Mirage. Hey guys, 